Welcome to the Frontier Communications American Women's Basketball Championship. We are at the Mohegan Sun Arena in Uncasville, Connecticut in this afternoon in the quarterfinals. Number nine seed Tulsa meets the number one seed and 11 time national champion Yukon Huskies. You know, for Yukon, they just want to be ex you know, crisp and execute as you see a quick slip by Gabby Williams. And great concentration. Gabby Williams is flying at her. UConn 12 and 0 in the Mohegan Sun Arena in its history, and Nurse with her first basket of the game. Well, that's not the first shot that uh, Collier yeah, has exactly. blocked this season. <laughs> She'll block some more. Chong gets a good, quick step and gets right by Wakefield. She, she might, you know, she definitely didn't call it. She, <laughs> she's not. A good but they'll take it. Nobody tries to bank it in from that far away anymore. Great look inside Williams to Samuelson and one. Again, first look when the ball goes to the high post, you already have an idea that the, the, what's going on down low. See a little half court, little one, two, two. With Crystal Dangerfield the one, and it results in a turnover. Dangerfield replacing Nurse. Samuelson reversal to Collier. She shel seldom shoots from out there. It doesn't matter, does it? On the road in tournaments against some better teams that getting some foul trouble. What a quick, quick slip and turn of the head to see the ball and grab it. Excellent job. Top 10, the 10 finalists for the Wooden Award. Collier, Samuelson, and Williams. It's, it's, they keep it coming. Nice. Execution and nice job by Corey to keep running. And, and it's not necessarily you give tall post players, but the size of their guards is really a problem and creates a lot of problems on the offensive end as you see him turnover for a quick bucket. There's such a feel to it and, and timing that you need reps, you need game like reps. Samuelson misses the three. Sean stuck her nose in there and deflected it to Butler and the foul. If at all, like Syracuse was there for. First time last year. Great anticipation. Williams with the steal ahead to Dangerfield. Two on one with Chong to the trailer. Collier. And one. Such great vision. I mean, Dangerfield's flying down the floor, pulls up a little bit. She's already seeing again turnover right here. And take care of the basketball. We see Dangerfield surveying, 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 takes her time. The other day, didn't really. She didn't have any moves going to her left, but she can finish with both hands on the block. Williams penetrates out to Samuelson for another three. <laughs> Samuelson finally missed one, but no one boxed out Collier. First, first. <laughs> you're right about that. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Down low to ball. I, I don't think anyone really told Jackson or. Pretty much accepted as the best NBA coaches of all time, although Greg Popovich is entering the conversation right. and he will be the next men's coach. Great look down low to Chong for the layup. Crowd looking for UConn to go over the 100 mark for the third time this year. Dangerfield with the stop and go, and there's your 100. Three seconds to go. Perez throws it up, no good. And for the 12th consecutive year, UConn has won 30 games. They beat Tulsa 105-57. Their 105th consecutive victory. They're now 13-0 in their history in this arena. And they will get a date tomorrow with the UCF Knights in semifinal number one at 5 o'clock Eastern time here on ESPN2.